This is Superman's Tales of my reaction to you. Darth Vader versus Owen Tarot. I thought the model shirt for. A Star Wars shirt. Since I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm sure it's going to be Owen Tarot. That's not a full power to train you. But I'm curious if I read it. Oh, sorry. I forget what the title was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fucking insane. Anyway, I'm gonna I'll clip that. Get up that twice right here. Yep, clip twice right there. I will not play it, I'll tell you yet, I'll tell you. I know there's no one such as that one such does me. Let's get ready in three, two, one, play. This episode uh, of Death Battle is sponsored by I'll Brandon Yates. Okay. Again? Prime examples of how you live long enough to become a villain. These wears an eye for the stick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win. All three of All three of them. A long time ago, in a galaxy Fight. far, far away, the Iron Fist of the Galactic Empire ruled everything. All thanks to the super powerful super murderer, Darth Vader. But beneath his spooky mask lay the husk of former nice guy, Anakin Skywalker. As a child of the harsh wastes of Tatooine, Anakin long... Jesus. Jesus. I was just going to be much higher than it was. A lot of it. So, guys, start to work in the space bar. July. The one day free his fellow Jesus. slaves as a heroic Jedi. Lucky for him, the big Qui Gon Jin, a Jedi who believed little Annie was the chosen oh, one, would be. bring balance to the Force. I mean, no pressure, right? So he took it under his wing to become the Papa he never had. Or so was the plan. Until. <laughs> yeah. Instead, Qui Gon's oh, apprentice God. became Anakin's mentor. But while Anakin sought a father figure, Obi Wan saw him as more of a brother. I'm sure that won't cause any awkward tension whatsoever. Drama and drama oh, aside, Martin. Anakin quickly became a powerful Jedi. Sure. He excelled sure. in lightsaber combat and. Sure, sure, again. The Force, sure. an That's energy fun. field that binds all oh, living things together. Too. The Force lets Jedi oh, put stuff too. with their mind, fend off mental attacks, predict the future, sure. and make people believe these aren't the sure. toys they're looking for. They're basically space wizards. Through rigorous training oh, and a noticeable those, natural talent, Anakin shit. was particularly skilled in the Form 5 lightsaber fighting oh, skills of Jin and Jen So. Also known oh, as the way of the great dragon. Uh, you know that big sand sense. dragon Mando flew up from the inside? Yeah, make that a lightsaber. Form 5 is incredibly versatile. Well suited for defending against lightsaber and blast uh -huh. light. It focuses on blending parry to devastating counterattacks, aiming to win duels through overwhelming pressure. Perfect for the Padawan who just bulldozed his way through training to become a Jedi Knight. Even as a newly knighted Jedi, Anakin could keep up with some of the most experienced Jedi Masters and Sith Lords of his time. But he had plenty of other problems to deal with, like his late blooming rebellious teenage angst. I mean, you don't just throw a kid into space monk school and expect him to forget everyone he ever cared about, right? Well, apparently that's what he was supposed to do. The life of a Jedi can be difficult and cold. Oh, so Anakin could not accept oh, that. And so, rather than let his secret wife yes. die in childhood, oh, he was seduced to the sure dark well. side through the yes, of yes. power. And so began his Jedi kill streak until oh, Obi Wan gave him a glorious love oh, event. Oh, the refreshing. But thanks to his new Sith master Palpatine, our young warrior was saved, reborn, rebuilt. Yeah. He was now Darth Vader. Vader is a badass. Everyone knows it, and they're terrified of him. I mean, just look at the guy. As impressive as his armor appears, he's not surprised by its work. See, while the Jedi view the Force as an ally, the Sith see it as a tool from which they draw power through passion and the most potently negative. Palpatine trained Vader by not only making him believe he killed his wife, 
but also ensuring I could never forget the monster machine he had become. By making the suit suck ass and piss him off. The Seriously, the Vader hates the suit. The armor would beep at random times just to annoy him, and the life support system was outdated from the start. Sometimes it would even turn off for several minutes. That doesn't seem good for someone with burnt up lungs. And it was so heavy and clunky that he could barely walk. Sometimes even resorting to moving himself with the force. Oh man, I knew Palpy was evil, it's but so I never knew he was such a dick. Well, despite these so issues, the armor fulfilled its Just an armor. Jeez, got my souls. Shit. Alright, that's his one. That's his ass again. Shit. Okay, here's one. Section offers a speed or time of action strength. Interesting so far. It's true purpose. Crash the elevator into the equivalent of a slasher movie villain commanding a galactic army. Nobody wants to mess with him. Thanks to the dark side of the force, he can make maelstroms that blast everything away. Form barriers that shield from all sorts of attacks and choke anything that's even minor inconvenience. Hell, sometimes he skips straight to crushing your lungs. One time, a droid named I-5 tried to kill the laser Vader to so move 300,000 kilometers per second. That's light speed, and Vader easily blocked it. And for as much bullshit as Palpatine oh threw at him, Vader was tough enough and stubborn enough to push what through. The hell? Palpatine knew that Vader would eventually try to kill him and take him the Empire. What the fuck? So he constantly fanned Vader's hatred by sending assassins after him to make sure he was still worthy of being his apprentice. Oh, that's nothing! My cousin, he blasted off Gosselin's Vader's robo-limbs, destroyed his armor, dropped him back on the lava planet, and told him to make his way back without the Force. An impossible task, yet one Vader accomplished. Yeah, cause he really, okay. really, okay. really wants to kill Palpatine. Of course he doesn't even ask. And that hatred is apparently useful in keeping force wielders alive and has sustained many Sith in conditions that would otherwise kill them. I'm sorry, Liam Neeson. Uh, Should have hated a little more. Vader has killed hundreds, possibly thousands of Jedi, including Obi-Wan himself. He's fought entire armies on his own, even taken on monsters the size of mountains. He's so unstoppable, an assassin droid hired to kill him quit the job because he calculated that Vader was impossible to kill. What the fuck? And an Ewok material from the old Legends canon erupted to hell. Hell. Lesser dark side users like the Night Sister Sherall overpowered the Sunstone, an ancient artifact capable of shifting moons. A feat which would require energy worth over 12 oh, septillion tons of TNT. That's a 24 zero. Okay, but if you want that. something more recent, I mean, here's no. a planet blowing up while Vader was on it. And he's okay, fine. Thanks to both his incredible Maybe power and the mercy and trust of the same sun, Vader would eventually Maybe avenge the atrocities of Palpatine. Even more important, he finally saved Maybe someone from the Ultimately, Anakin Skywalker truly did bring balance Maybe to the force. Anakin Skywalker and only one time later. Okage, the leader oh, of the Hidden Leaf Village and their strongest ninja, respected oh, and loved by all. Though few oh, have that's... attained this title, many have strived for it. One such striver, sadly lacking in parents, wanted to both help people and be acknowledged by the rest of the village. And what better way to do that than having your face carved into a mountain? If you think of talking about Naruto, guess again! This is the story of Obito Uchiha! Obito unfortunately lacked the natural talent for ninja arts a true- Fight, I like it. Fight the new chefs and fight. Fight the new chefs and better. Like that, I'll move it skills. What do you think of Kage? I'll say what I'm doing. Say what? Attributed to his original bloodline, 
So he signed up for ninja school and eventually joined a team with his rival Kakashi, his crush and their that leader wrong. Minato. Do you think I wrong. can get into a ninja school like that? Not one that teaches you to harness this form of chakra, a limited form of physical and spiritual energy that exists inside all human beings and Thank you, naturally Thank can you, be weaponized. He can use it to run up walls and make clones of himself, but even better, blow shit up. This is the chakra. Among its many techniques, include. The elemental attacks and the Uchiha oh, yeah, specialize in all things fire. Big fireballs, small fire. fireballs, waves of fire. Okay, let's Air columns of fire! You name it, they've got it! So when Ninja World War III came along, it totally made sense to get this fire ninja involved at the age of... 11. Yikes! Well, lucky for Obito, he had one more secret weapon up his sleeve. Er, I suck it. The Sharingan! The Sharingan grants extremely precise vision, allowing someone... And to see the flow of chakra oh, predict an enemy's yeah. attack, yeah. cast yeah. a variety yeah. of genjutsu yeah. illusions, yeah. and even break out of said illusions. Too bad he didn't get to use the red eyes much. I like really ten like minutes it. after he, he got the damn things, yeah. he got smushed yeah. under a big rock. What a way to go! But since he wasn't expecting to use his super eyes anymore, he handed one off to Kakashi, oh, yeah. and yeah. then he died. The end! Oh, Just isn't... kidding! Miraculously, Obito survived long enough to be rescued by another Uchiha, oh, okay. the legendary Madara. Madara granted Obito a new fingers. body, regenerating the limbs he lost. You're probably thinking, oh, what a swell guy. Except he was not! Madara was brewing some plans for world domination and needed a pawn to carry them out. So he tricked Obito into watching Kakashi kill Reed, making him fall victim to the Uchiha's curse of hatred. Within the Uchiha clan, there exists an ideal of being extremely devoted to love. It has been speculated that if a particularly powerful Uchiha loses someone important to them, that love will be replaced with an all-consuming hatred. This is how Obito awakened his Mangekyo Sharingan. Or Red Eye 2.0, the Mangekyo gave him a new jutsu called Kamui. With it, he can suck his foes into another dimension and leave them there to die. He can even hide weapons in there until he needs them, like his gun by fan. But even better, he can phase through stuff. Well, not quite. Kamui gives Obito the power to move through objects in a manner that's similar to the common phasing superpower akin to the Flash or King Cry. In reality, it's much more yeah. complex, as Obito is actually teleporting parts of his body into the Kamui dimension whenever they overlap with other matter. See, there's his body parts right there. Well, if it looks like a duck and talks like a duck, it's phasing. Hands up! Yeah! Oh. Way later on, he also got another super eye. Uh, Man, he's really swapping uh, his things house. around like a prime sub on Twitch. This Renegon grants Obito the power of the six paths, giving him some nifty abilities like controlling gravity with the Deva path, ripping out souls with the human path, and summoning giant monsters with the animal path. With all of the awful stuff he'd gone through, Obito realized that the ninja world was corrupt to its core. His dream of everyone being happy and working together was never going to happen. So instead, oh, he agreed to carry out Madara's King of Freedom plan to right. control everything. Donning masks and multiple personas, he recruited a number of rogue shinobi to form the Akatsuki terrorist group and kicked off Ninja World War 4. All to revive the monstrous Ten Tails. I know what you're thinking. Wasn't the whole point of this to stop war in the first place? And that's a very good question. 
You are liberated from hell. Find peace in the next life. Oh. Oh, oh, Spider Man was able to beat Obi Wan, but he just couldn't handle Obi Two. Uh, this was a fairly complex uh, match. Both Darth Vader and Obi Two were roughly even in power and speed, so it should be down to their right. skill and arsenal. Yes, very and close. boy, did they have some deep bags of tricks, even some of the same tricks. They both had enough mental attacks. Both can push me. I can trust his five eyes. Two towers. Zero. I'm done. Like a thought, it's a truth of words. It's a very new universe. And for Earth and Earth, what's kind of serious? Versatile, he's very insane. He's determined. Past the greatest of the beast. Face Tark, he likes to talk to the Who things around with their minds? And they both even had options to instantly kill each other. Vader could simply force crush Obito's body, but Obito could just as easily rip out Vader's soul. However, Obito had a few more impressive options available to him, edging out just enough oh, for the For starters, Kamui made Obito extremely difficult just to touch, let alone injure. And as a Jin Turkey, he could regenerate from half of his body getting destroyed. While the dark side could yeah, help Vader survive extreme conditions, it obviously anything. can't regrow limbs. Plus, thanks to his wide array of jutsu, Obito would eventually overwhelm Vader. While Chakra may normally be a limited oh, source of energy, unlike oh, oh, oh. Force, the Ten Tails provided Obito with an unlimited supply. And since Chakra is both this spiritual is and physical sure. energy, this means Obito would be able to fight on indefinitely. Last but not least, Vader's preference for lightsaber combat means that he'd be up close and personal with Obito, right? Which left him vulnerable to getting disintegrated by one of the many fruit-seeking orbs. Or, even worse, sucked up into the Kamui dimension. Yeah, don't forget about that. Not only would he have no way out, he probably wouldn't even be able to tap into the Force while stuck there. Game over. Have fun starving to death, I guess. Wonder how long you can feed on hate. Darth Vader may have had a tenacity that few others could match. But against Obito's similar might, busted regeneration, and overwhelming range of abilities, there was no escape. In the end, Vader's victory just wasn't meant to be. 
The winner is Obito Uchiha. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay That's tuned. Fun. We have a new death battle releasing again. Again. every two weeks this again. year. Again. And click the jack. Oh, oh, button again. That's the. Oh my god. That's the moon. It's probably the sun. Sucking New perks and extra content. Planet level members can see death. Battles before anyone else, so don't miss out. It's like I can watch it too. Oh, hey. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's actually. That makes sense, actually. I feel like there's some. I don't know. Plus, escape. Oh, the level shock versus. Getting pulled from the few arses. Just like, no, sir. Go to the red square up top. Oh, stop, 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 hold. No, no. Try to try to tell you. Try to try to tell you. No, 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 like that. Like that. Like that. More, more. Okay, go to the top of the red square. Check it. It's the first thing. And go, check it. That's awesome. That fight's going to be insane. And the feats that we're going to. Jesus fucking Christ, those, those scale like a good saying. Back to Furlis. Yep. Wait, don't stop it. Anyway, guys. Also, yep, that that's not going to be fucking crazy. I, I've never heard of Raven's shirt. Raven's like my girl, but I, I chose all three of them. The two of them are off top. We're going to give you a lot of help. Not yet. Bye for now, guys. See you next time. Click it. At the end of the video, I would just like to thank my current subscribers on YouTube and my Patreon. And my Patreon's on Patreon. If you enjoyed the video, please like or comment on the video if you would like to. And if you enjoy my channel, please support me and subscribe. You can find the links to my Patreon and Turner as well as links to reactions and videos in the description down below. If you want to support me on Patreon, please do. There are many rewards you can get, and I appreciate it. And if you like my favorite anime reviewer would say, Sayonara.